What's up guys? Welcome back to All Wings Everything. I am your cook Spinelli. I am the self-proclaimed wing king and the prince and ruler of all lemon pepper wings. Now I need you guys to do me a favor real quick. I need you to bow your heads and repeat after me. Respect the lemon pepper. Respect the lemon pepper. Now click that link above me. I'm going to show you guys how to make the best lemon pepper wings on the planet. Now in today's video, this recipe came from a subscriber who asked me to make this particular dish. Now, they said it was amazing that I had to do it. And I'm sorry, I forgot his name, but I will find his comment and I will put his name in the video description. Hopefully I can find a comment. But I'm gonna show you guys today how to make mustard fried red snapper bites. Yes, guys, this recipe on fish is amazing. You, so guys, you have to try it. I absolutely love this recipe. So I hope you're in your kitchen. I'm already in mine, so let's go. All right guys, so here are the ingredients we're gonna use for today's recipe. Right here I have some uh, red snapper filleted flour, cornmeal, hot sauce. You can use any type of hot sauce of your choosing. Right here, I'm gonna use some of this Crystal's Louisiana Pure Hot Sauce. Some yellow mustard, you definitely need yellow mustard, no Dijon, no honey mustard, yellow mustard. I got some coarse ground uh, black pepper. I'm using Cajun seasoning along with some Creole seasoning and some cayenne pepper, and I'm gonna use two um, eggs. Now. You can use uh, just Cajun seasoning if you want to, or you can use just Creole seasoning. That's totally up to you, but I want to combine the two to give me some of that additional Cajun and Creole flavor. So these are the ingredients we're going to use. So let's go ahead and move on. All right, guys. So let me tell you what we have here. I've already measured out our ingredients. So right here, I have about two pounds of a red snapper. What I did, I cut them up in chunks. Right here, this is fresh red snapper, guys. So you can use fresh or the frozen, but this is fresh red snapper. In this bag, I have, you see at the bottom, I got some cornmeal. I hadn't even, I hadn't mixed it yet, but I have a cup and a half of cornmeal, cup and a half of flour in this bag. I have two eggs right here that I'm gonna beat up in just a minute. That sounds funny, beat up the eggs. Um, I have a half a cup of hot sauce, half a cup of yellow mustard. I have a tablespoon and a half of this um, Cajun seasoning have three tablespoons of cayenne pepper. Now guys, if you wanna you know, cut back on the heat, you can, you can do that. But this is what uh, the subscriber uh, recommended that I do, three tablespoons. I'm not scared of heat, so I'm doing three tablespoons. I'm also, I also have here a tablespoon of uh, coarse ground black pepper, and I have a tablespoon and a half of Creole seasoning. Now. They all only recommend the Cajun seasoning, but I like the Cajun Creole combination. So it, you could just use three tablespoons of uh, Cajun seasoning if you want to. But what I did was I just used, I split those three tablespoons to a tablespoon and a half of Creole, tablespoon and a half of Cajun, because I like that cra Cajun Creole kick. So this is what we're gonna use. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to make our dry seasoning. So we're just gonna add our uh, dry seasoning to an empty dish. That's our black pepper. Here's our Creole seasoning, along with our cayenne pepper. And next, our Cajun seasoning. So we're just gonna go ahead and give this a generous mix to combine them. Man, this is a nice combination of spices right here, I tell you. I can imagine what this would taste like just on some regular poultry or some beef. This is just an amazing combination. All right, so look at that color. Reddish, orange, oh man, that looks great. All right, so let's move on to the next step. All right, so what we're gonna do now is we're going to take uh, three tablespoons of this um, seasoning and we're going to add it to our flour mixture. Let's take three tablespoons of that. Make sure we get everything out of that. That's one tablespoon. Here's another tablespoon. And right there. All right, so what we're gonna do now is we're just gonna seal this up. And you know, we just do a little shake and bake it with this. Make sure we get everything mixed up. All right. 
Yep, that looks pretty good to me. All right, let's move on. In this step, what we're gonna do is we're going to prepare our dredge. So what we're gonna do is we're going to add our uh, hot sauce to our egg uh, mixture. Next, let's add our, our mustard. Is I'm going to add a tablespoon of this mixture here, another two tablespoons of that. And I'm just gonna save this little bit and I'm going to put this little, uh, this is about a, ta a teaspoon. I'm gonna throw this over our uh, fish. So let's go ahead and finish this uh, dredge here. And we're gonna give it a mix like this. Beautiful, look at that mixture. Oh man, this is what we have. All right, so I'm just gonna slide this over here and then I'm going to um, take the remainder of this um, these spices and I'm just gonna put it over, pour it over our fish. I just have a, a, um, a pet peeve that I have to add spices to, I don't care if it's, you know, a teaspoon, half a teaspoon, I just have to have spices on the actual meat itself. So I understand that the dredge is gonna give it, the egg mixture is gonna give it some flavors, some spices, also with the uh, flour, but I like to be 1,000% sure that I'm gonna get the flavor I want so the actual meat of that spices for that. So, all right, so let's go ahead and move on to the next step. All right, guys, I realized that I did say what I did with this fish. <laughs> I guess you guys already know. I did cut them up into uh, like uh, one inch to half inch chunk, so you could do that. And again, I had about uh, two pounds of it. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take our fish from our bowl, drop it into our egg wash, then over to our flour mixture. So I'm gonna start off with about, let's see, let's do about five pieces. You wanna shake off the excess. Of course you can uh, do it one at a time if you wanted to, like if you don't wanna put it in the bag and just have it, um, you could just roll it in the flour, but this is gonna be quicker for me to do it this way so all right so once we do that what we're going to do i'm going to seal this up and i'm just going to give it a good shake like that and then remove them and once i remove them i'm just going to sit them here over on our baking sheet and let them rest over here until I finish the, the rest of the pieces. And what we're gonna do, we're just gonna wash, rinse, and repeat. All right guys, so I've already breaded all our uh, fish pieces. So what I'm gonna do now, is I'm gonna transfer these from the rack over to our uh, deep fryer. I'm gonna deep fry these. You don't have to deep fry them. You can put them in a, a, cast, iron, a, a cast iron skillet if you want and, um, and, and, and fry them that way, but I'm gonna use my deep fryer. So I've already got it preheated. So let's go ahead and add these to the basket and get them fried. All right, guys, so what we're gonna do now is we're going to drop these down and let them cook for three to five minutes. And then we're gonna bring them back up. Let's drop them down. And like I say, we're gonna let them cook for three to five minutes. Right after three minutes, I'm gonna pull them up just to take a look at them, just to see what it looks like. But of course, you don't have to cook fish that long, so three to five minutes should be sufficient. So I'll see you in a bit. Let's take a little bit, of a look at them real quick. As you can see, take a look at that. Looking very, very good. So we're gonna leave them back down there for about another two minutes. All right, guys, so now our snapper is, is done. Let's take a look at that. Wow, man. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to place this into my, um, my cooling rack. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to load um, the next batch and we're going to Cook that for another three to five minutes and I'm gonna put this in my oven, in my warm oven just to keep the heat, uh, to keep it warm. So let's go ahead and drop these real quick. All 
All right, so now these uh, our second batch is done. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to add them to our first batch. And guys, this is what we have right here. Take a look at these nice size nuggets. Look at that. This is nice. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and get it uh, prepped up on a plate. And then we're gonna finish off this recipe so we can start eating. All right, be right back. And there you have it. Mustard fried red snapper, Asian Creole style. Guys, take a look at that. Let me know what you guys think about this recipe. Red snapper is my favorite fish. I love red snapper. I grew up on red snapper and I, I really enjoy red snapper. So this, you can make this with any type of fish, but I recommend red snapper. All right, the measurements and the ingredients are in the video description below. Also, if you don't have any of these items, I have links to them in the video description below. We'll take you to Amazon where you can purchase them. Guys, you must try this recipe. It is very, very good. I appreciate the subscriber who recommended this recipe. Right now, while I'm doing this, um, I'm recording this, I can't remember your name, but I definitely put it in the video description below. This is a great recipe, guys, and I'm glad he recommended that I make this. Guys, if you got anything you'd like to see me make, just send me an email or leave a comment. I'll be glad to take a look at it and make it. And until then, I'm your cook. Well, you know what? Let, let's, let's take a look into one of these, uh, these snappers, all right? All right, guys, so let me take a, grab one of these things here. Look at that. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open this thing up for you. Look at that right there. Look at that. And I'm gonna take a bite. Mmm. Yes. Hey, look at this one. Mmm. Wow, this is great. I'm trying to decide which is better, the salmon bite or these red snapper bites. I'm telling you, I need help deciding. So guys, if you haven't made the salmon recipe, make that salmon recipe, also make this one so you can tell me. But I'm torn between the two because this is good, man. I'm fixing to get another one. Take a look at that. Mm -hmm. All right, let's open that one up. Look at that. All right, I'm your cook, Spinelli, all wings, everything, and I am out. Peace.